Zach from Falling in Reverse, and this is How I Head Rush. I don't want to tap dance when I play. I don't want to like go into a different part of the song and have to click, you know, click a reverb on and then click the gate on here because it's going heavier, like click this EQ. So to make it easier, Head Rush has created a scene setting that I'm gonna show you how to do now. So basically you'll go to your uh, three little dots and you'll go to your hardware sign. So for this, you'll go to the toggle first and you'll click through it until you get to where it says scene. And I'm gonna do it for all of these. And then you can rename them. These, just cause it's the bottom four buttons come up as five, six, seven, eight. Obviously if you did them to the top, it'd be one, two, three, four. Um, but I like to keep it easy to click. So I would go to edit. So for my first scene, um, I'm gonna do something, let's see, for example. Well, first when you get here, you're gonna wanna change all of these to off. So basically for my first scene, um, I'm gonna want my amp on, I want my IR on. I'll always keep my gate on because it gets noisy. Um, I'm not gonna have my overdrive on this one and I'm gonna have my graphic EQ on, my para EQ number two. I have two on there. I'm insane. I can't totally explain it, but it, it helps for my sound, so that's what I'm gonna go with. So now I have those, I'm gonna have my volume on. So I always have control of it because I like to rock back. So we go from there and that's my scene one. So if we exit out of this and I click there. So that's bare bones, overdrive, just from the amp, no, uh, no pedals, no any flare to it. So to get back there to do my second one, back to hardware sign. Let's see. So once again, change everything to off. So for this, I'm gonna keep my volume on. Um, I'm gonna have my gate on again, my Parrot EQ2 on, my amp will be on, my IR will be on. And then I wanna put on my overdrive pedal and my graphic EQ on there. So that all looks good. There we go. So now I'll go from my first scene. Pretty bare bones sounding to my overdriven sound. And then get that pick out of my mouth. Back to my hardware sign, scene three for me. And as you do this, it gets a little easier because then you can just kind of leave what you know is gonna be on. You can also set it so there's no change as you click through, which I probably should be doing for my amp and IR at this point. Um, but I want you to be able to see every aspect of this in case you're changing around a little more. So my IR is on, my amp is on, keep my graphic EQ on, keep my para EQ on, keep that on, and then Let's put my octave on in this one because there's one or two songs where we throw in some fun stuff. Spring reverb off, no smart harm, volume on. And that looks good to me. So now. And then now with the octave pedal. And it's that simple as just clicking through each one. Um, I can set up something real quick on my fourth channel. Octave. And then four, which would be more my lead tone. And that's how I use it, and that's how, uh, how it keeps everything simple for me and compact, which is really what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make my life as easy and just a few clicks away, and if I want to get to that other scene I built, it's right there, and I can just go one, two, three, or four on all my, uh, my presets that I've built. I'm Zach Sandler from Falling Inverse, and that's how I head rush.